What's up YouTube? Today we are going to show you the go-to knot for not only myself but many pros, some of the top YouTubers you've seen, uh, the Palomar knot and how good this thing really is and the strength it has behind it so you can lose less fish and less of your, let's say, expensive lures as well. And after I show you how to tie this quickly, we're going to go ahead and talk about some more of the key benefits. So stick around and stay tuned for that as well. Let me go ahead and grab my Kroger Bot skewer that I kind of uh, mangled into a hook-shaped design with a larger eyelet. Okay. Okay guys, let me go ahead and show you the first few steps on tying the Palomar knot with this skewer and rope and then we are going to bust out the real thing and it will be a little easier to tie and cinch down than what we have here. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to take the line, you're going to go through the eyelet of the hook, pull quite a bit through when you're first learning this knot, uh, it's going to help you out when you're tying this. So you're going to have excess line, you can go ahead and bring a lot of that line through your hook, you're going to hold on to that as you loop this around and you're just gonna do one of those simple overhand knots right there. So now, without tightening this just yet, we're gonna go over our hook with that line, and then we're literally just gonna pull it all tight from there. And with this rope, again, it's a little challenging. So this is not quite like fishing line, but that is the first steps and we can complete it now with our fluorocarbon that we have. Let's go ahead and show you guys how to rig this knot quickly and efficiently using one of the most popular rigs I frequently am tying with it, the Texas rig. So we'll go ahead and grab our bullet weight. We will also grab a worm hook. And the first step is gonna be to slide the bullet weight onto the hook. Although this is not a Texas rig video, again, this is one of the most common rigs I tie utilizing this knot. So we wanna just let that weight flow down the line and not bugging you with your tying process of the Palomar knot. So we've gone through the eyelet. We have now come back through the eyelet and now we are going to pull a little excess line through. That way we have enough to cover this hook and we are going to grab this here, cinch it down tight in the right hand, and we're just gonna get that loop. Pull this through, and remember we do not tighten the knot right here. We wait until we go ahead and cover that hook. We go over the hook with that loop, and now here is where we wet the line and pull it tight. Now we can pull and cinch that down, and that is the tied Palomar knot ready to go. We can go ahead and give that a little nice and tight and let's go ahead and give this a trim all right guys that is the palomar knot from start to finish and one of its most practical applications for myself the texas rig you guys are going to love using this knot let me tell you why Guys, so before I was introduced to the Palomar Knot, let me tell you what life was like. I would be casting out baits and lures and I would just lose them. Boom, five bucks, there goes a jig because the knot broke. Boom, there goes another Texas rig because the knot broke. And so for me, I once I found the Palomar Knot, it was recommended to me by one of my favorite YouTubers, but not only that, some of the top pros in fishing are also using the Palomar Knot. This is tried and true in all of the fishing industry. You have to understand this thing is like number one. I don't think there's anything that compares myself. There was times when I was tying other knots and I would go to flip it up onto the bank and I had one specific when I was giving another knot a try for a little while I was like I'm just gonna tie something else for a little while and you had only gone through the eyelet once with that knot I was using a decent pound test line and what had happened is when I went to bank flip that fish up onto the bank the line had snapped luckily the fish had momentum it ended up on the bank I saved the fish and the lure and that was fine and dandy but the knot had tripped up again and all I'm getting at is you will lose less lures with this right here I don't care if you spend $15 on a whopper plopper or you go and buy something like this freaking fifty dollar choked custom swim bait with a crank attached to it all the way up to something like a fifty to a hundred dollar swim bait and of course they get more expensive but you get the point the palomar knot is what i trust if you haven't been tying it i highly encourage you to end this video and get straight to it and then go have some fun fishing it if you have not used this knot you need to get on it this is the one right here go ahead and rig yourself up something like a texas rig toss on your favorite soft plastic and get to fishing i'll see you guys on the next video <gasps>